Nowadays, owning a smartphone is kind of like owning an office at the world at large in your pocket. It also does have the ability to entertain you and enlighten you, and the list goes on and on. Are you about to break up with your own smartphone and maybe get a replacement on a budget? Well, then watch this video to the end, as today, we're gonna bring you the best budget smartphones, the Moto G Power. This smartphone is popularly known as the Moto G8 Power outside the US. And it's more than simply a battery boosted version of a decent budget phone. Consider it more of an improvement over last year's edition, which contains an impressive number of benefits usually seen on flagships. With a four gigabytes of RAM, the Snapdragon 665 chipset is an improvement, and the 6.4 inch display is somewhat more expensive and crisper, with a full HD plus 2300 by 1080p resolution. Firstly, the quad core cameras on the rear include a 16 megapixel primary shooter, eight megapixel telephoto with a two time optical zoom, an eight megapixel ultra wide lens with a 118 degree field of view, and a two megapixel macro lens. There's also 4K 30fps for video, and it's a fantastic suite, capped off with a 16 megapixel front facing camera and a punch hole, adding to the flagship like appearance. For the low cost of only 180 bucks, this smartphone sure has excellent performance and an attractive design. The Sony Xperia L4. Overall, the Sony Xperia L4 has received a lot of excellent reviews. It has a 6.2 inch screen with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and its long, thin display is impressive and perfect for viewing TV programs and movies, ideal for a lengthy commute. The camera performs well with point-and-shoot photos in broad daylight, but not so well at night. Overall, this phone is adequate, as you still get what you pay for when you spend as low as $218 on a smartphone. Many one on a limited budget can add it to their list. Sony has undoubtedly taken some shortcuts to keep the price as low as possible. We suggest it because this smartphone doesn't provide the best of everything. Mobile gamers will find its speeds to be excruciatingly sluggish, while those who are consistently browsing through social media might find themselves needing to recharge it many times a day. The Realme 8 Pro. Here's another excellent budget smartphone. The 6.4 inch AMOLED display was extremely bright with 1000 nits of brightness, but did lack the sharpness of more comparable costly phones. However, one area that did excel on this phone was its battery life, as it can get you approximately 20 hours of movie playing and can be recharged in as little as 47 minutes. The Realme 8 Pro has a 108 megapixel camera, the most significant resolution available from a smartphone camera. It has an excellent picture quality, so if you're on a low budget, but you do want a smartphone with a fantastic camera for point and shoot photography, this is the phone to buy. Shots came out extraordinarily crisp and realistic in more natural light. It didn't do so hot with ultra wide photos, so do keep that in mind if you are gonna shoot those kinds of pics. The starting price for this phone comes in at $310. The Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite. Considered by many to be the clear winner when it comes to budget smartphones, the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite will give you the best bang for your buck in just about every area. You get a good battery life, solid specs that include 6GB of RAM, a quad lens back camera, and 5G connectivity. If the next gen network is available where you live, then this phone is one of the cheapest ways to take advantage of it. Taking a glance at the Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite specification sheets, the hardware finish, and its polish, you'll assume that it costs a lot more than its price of $315. Something of note as well should also be the 6.67 inch screen size, sharpness, and brightness that is ideal for anything from watching movies to surfing the web. It's not just a perfect phone as you won't find features like wireless charging, but you'll be hard pressed to find a gadget that gives you more bang for your buck. The iPhone SE. The new iPhone SE is more prominent than its predecessor, sorry tiny phone lovers, and maintains almost everything from the iPhone 8 except the powerful A13 Bionic processor. That is the exact same processor that powers Apple's top of the line iPhone 11, so you're getting almost the same power, although with a little less RAM, as the company's top of the line phones. While the 1821 milliamp battery isn't as large as those seen in the flagships, it can still be charged wirelessly. That implies that the iPhone SE will be comparable with the iOS version after iOS 13 than the iPhone 8 or iPhone XS series. 
However, the rest of the specs aren't bad with a 12 megapixel back camera, 7 megapixel front facing camera, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a storage option of 64, 128, or 256 gigabytes. The iPhone SE is going to come in at $400. The Google Pixel 4a 5G. The Google Pixel 4a 5G is an intriguing phone. It's more like a mid-year upgrade to the Google Pixel 4a that raises its specifications almost to the same level of the flagship Google Pixel 5, which was launched alongside it. The Pixel 4a 5G is powered by the same Snapdragon 765G processor, twin rear cameras, a 12.2 megapixel main and a 16 megapixel ultrawide, plus a 6.2 inch full HD plus 1080 by 2340 OLED display, and a decent 3,885 milliamp battery. For a fast enough phone that shoots roughly the same pictures as the costlier Pixel 5, the Pixel 4a 5G is an excellent choice at a prime price point of just $488. Its photographic prowess elevates it beyond any other mid-range phones, and from many other reviews, we saw that the Pixel 4a 5G's 6 gigabytes of RAM performed somewhat worse than the 8 gigabytes found in the Pixel 5, causing some software issues, along with the fact that the plastic frame felt a little poorer than the metal body of its more expensive buddy. The TCL 20 Pro 5G If you ever need a smartphone that can last a whopping 20 hours of video playing, then TCL 20 Pro 5G is the right choice. It comes with a smooth, glossy, and curved 6.67-inch screen, making it ideal for streaming TVs and movies. It is a phone that is superbly ideal for the everyday commute. Also, downloading shows is not going to end up cluttering the phone's memory either, because it comes with 256 gigabytes of internal storage that can be broadened with a microSD card. However, it is essential to note that the camera on this phone isn't the best, as it performs well in daylight, but not so much at night. However, this won't be a massive issue if you're more concerned with the screen and battery life. Overall, it's a well-designed phone for $500 and the TCL 20 Pro 5G may be on the costlier side, but it's still a capable phone with a display that seems like it should cost twice as much. The Oppo Find X3 Lite The Oppo Find X3 Lite is a great smartphone that offers a lot of return for the price point of just $573. This phone has a tremendous wired charging speed, which can get up to 65 watts, which is an excellent reason to put this on your list of the best cheap smartphones right now, although wireless charging is not available on this phone. The size and quality of the display does give the impression that you're using a much costlier phone, and some of its features include a decent camera along with 5G connectivity. Another great feature is the screen, which has a 6.43-inch AMOLED display and a refresh rate of 90 Hz, making it ideal for users to view movies, surf the web, and check out their social media feeds. Amazingly, it costs far less than the other models in the Oppo Find X3 lineup. OnePlus Nord 2 The OnePlus Nord 2 outperforms most low-cost phones and is even on par with several flagships, at least in terms of efficiency. You get so much for your money as, in the real sense, this smartphone is worth double the price. This phone carries on the OnePlus Nord tradition. It's a true champion and one of the most accessible low-cost phones to the successful first-generation Nord with higher speeds, a larger battery, and many more features. That is definitely a huge advantage over its predecessor, considering that you can use it for almost everything, even mobile gaming. You might be skeptical of a low-cost phone with such outstanding performance, but you shouldn't be since this is a true all-rounder. The battery life is more than a day, the camera can produce social media-worthy images, and Oxygen OS has one of the smoothest user interfaces available. Unfortunately, there is still no certified waterproofing or wireless charging. But even then, OnePlus has included Wi-Fi 6 with a 5G connection, so you'll have the fastest internet speeds anywhere you go, as long as your router and area are supported. The cost for this phone comes in at a cool $550. The Samsung Galaxy S10e This fantastic smartphone is a step down from the version of the Galaxy S10. It could both pass for the same, although it does lack a telephoto lens, a higher resolution display, and an in-screen fingerprint sensor, which are the main features that you would find in the S10. 
However, for most users, a full HD plus 2280 by 1080 p screen would be enough. And the smaller 5.8 inch display means that the phone fits perfectly in your hand. The rear fingerprint sensor and lock button on the side is more extensive and, in general, more accurate than in-screen ones. Given how many use cases the primary and ultra-wide cameras cover, you may not even miss the back telephoto. Even without wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, the S10e retains one of the top flagship features. In comparison, the Samsung Galaxy S10e is less expensive than the Galaxy S10, with fewer features, which does explain the price point of $550. So, what are your thoughts about these smartphones? Let us know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, then smash that like button. For more such exciting videos, remember to subscribe to our channel and also turn on post notifications, so that way you never miss any more updates from us. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys next time.